another very fun and spicy poisonous plant, the poison sumac. Poison sumac is this shrub up here. It is found in the majority of the eastern United States and the very lower areas of the southeastern Canadian provinces. Typically, it's found in bogs and wetland areas and is very, very closely related to two other more famous plants, the poison oak and the poison ivy. All three of these plants, the poison oak, sumac, and ivy, contain the same compound, erushiol, which is what causes the problems with touching these plants. The majority of the adverse effects come from touching and coming in contact with the leaves or sap from the poison sumac, causing what is called contact dermatitis. That causes a very painful, itchy rash, similar but definitely more severe than a touching poison oak or poison ivy. Now, the majority of the time, just touching poison sumac will cause a very annoying rash for a couple of days that will make you have not a very good time at all, but ultimately it is not fatal or even causing long-lasting damage. However, there is a potentially fatal circumstance when the leaves and wood and everything of the poison sumac is burned. The urushile, when released into smoke from burning the poison sumac, if that smoke is inhaled, it will cause pulmonary edema or fluid in the lungs. That, along with the internal rash in the mouth, throat, and lungs that is caused by coming in contact with that smoke, as well as any outside skin that is exposed to the smoke, such as the face, eyes, mouth, and other skin areas. That is a very not good time. Combining that with the pulmonary edema and burning on the inside of the lungs, if not treated and if very, very severe, can potentially be fatal. It's not likely to be fatal, but it is a possibility especially if there's pre-existing lung conditions such as asthma or COPD. However, like I said, the majority of the poison sumac cases are from accidentally touching this bush, which, while painful and annoying and itchy, generally is not fatal.